This video is going to show you how to apply Bernoulli's problem to solve a word problem. Typically in Bernoulli's problem, like examples we gave in class, we talked about a pipe changing elevation. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at it a little bit differently and compare um, the pressure on two sides of an object to see what kind of force is developed. So the question says, this house has its doors and windows shut. Its roof has a thickness of about zero. So the roof's thickness is about an inch, really, the thickness of the wood on top, but we're going to ignore that and call it pretty much zero. How does the force, how much force is generated to lift the roof? So in this situation, I've got the wind blowing at 75 miles per hour outside the, the house. This is a, a category one hurricane blowing outside the house on the roof. Then outside, I know the density of the air, 1.275 kilograms per cubic meter. The area of the roof is seven times 11 meters. In order to figure out the force, when I'm talking about the flow of a fluid going across top of it, I need to know the pressure. Once I know pressure and I have the area, then I can find the force. And the area is 7 times 11 or 77 square meters. So let's look at Bernoulli's equation. The pressure on the outside plus 1 half rho times the velocity of the air on the outside squared plus rho g h, that's the height outside, is equal to the pressure inside the house plus 1 half rho, the velocity of the air inside the house squared plus rho g h inside the house. Now the pressure inside the house is going to be one atmosphere because it's all closed off. It's just a normal house inside of it. So that's going to be one atmosphere or 1.013 times 10 to the 5 pascals. The difference in the height, if I subtracted h out and h in, it's going to be zero. So both of them are going to be zero because it says it's got a thickness of zero. So there's really no difference in the height between the inside of the house and the outside of the house for our problem. The velocity of the air inside the house, well, if it's closed up, it's not moving at all, so the velocity is zero. But outside the house, the air is moving at 75 miles per hour or 33.528 meters per second once when we convert it over. Putting in my number into Bernoulli's equation, I can find the pressure outside the house. And that's what I'm after because I want to use pressure is equal to force over area to figure out how much force there is. So the pressure outside is one half the density of the air times the speed of the air squared, and that's equal to just the air pressure inside the house. So when I solve that, I find out that the pressure outside the house is 1.0153 or 5.83 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Now I can use this difference of pressure to calculate the force that's used to accelerate the roof off the house. So when I look at this, the net pressure or the change in pressure is equal to the pressure inside the house, one atmosphere, minus my pressure outside, the 1.0053 or 5.83 times 10 to the 5 pascals. So the net pressure is equal to um, sorry, the net pressure is equal to 716.6 pascals. So I can use this difference in pressure between inside and outside to calculate the force. So that net pressure is equal to the force over the area, which is 7 times 11, it's the area of the roof, that's where the, the area that the wind is applied to. And that gives me a, fourth, a force of 55,180 newtons, or rather large force at that.